In this video, I'm going to dive into a myth that a lot of folks believe about making money with insurance sales, and that's if I have a huge wealth of offerings, somehow I'm going to be wealthier with insurance sales. And we're going to kind of unpack this, help you understand why this will decrease your profitability. And I believe this lie too. So confessions are good for the soul. When I started off in the industry, I thought the same thing. And it really took my profitability down. So we're going to dive into this today. And thanks for joining with me. My name is Jason. I'm your friend in the business. I do partner with just amazing insurance agents that are new and veterans in our national agency, selling life, Medicare, and annuities face-to-face, -face, but more importantly, in the telespace. So free resources always for your taking at jasonfinalexpense.com. And thank you for uh, partnering with me in this content today. So first off, when we get our license, a lot of times we think that a lot of products are going to somehow make us more profitability. And what happens is our bandwidth gets really diluted and that decreases our chance of finding success because we know a little bit about this, a little bit about that, and we don't know a lot about the product that we maybe jumped in uh, the industry to do. So what you want to do is you want to not dive into Medicare if you're a final expense agent at first. You don't want to touch the ACA. You don't want to touch annuities. You don't want to touch IULs because what will happen is the most important thing is your mind. And you want to be able to focus more on one thing until you really master it. Now, once you master the one product and then find tremendous levels of success, and I'm not talking about writing it once or twice. I'm talking about repetition. Repetition is real magic, and belief is the backbone of this industry. And if you don't believe in one product, you're not going to win as much. You've got to believe in the one product that got you into this industry and then do a lot of it. Now, once you've done a lot of it, my friends, then go ahead and add more offerings. But the more stuff in your briefcase is just going to dilute your brain, and you won't be as dynamic when clients ask you questions, when prospects ask, hey, what about this? What about that? This takes out so many insurance agents. It's not even funny. We kind of get distracted. Oh, what's that thing over there? Oh, what's that over there? Oh, what's that up here? Be careful, all right, what you put in your mind. Because if you want to make more money in the insurance industry, you've got to stay laser focused on one, one boring product. And then once you've really mastered it, you've written 50 to 100 of those products, then go ahead and grab something else and throw it in your briefcase. You can be a beast. You really can. But you don't want to complicate a very simple business. The business is not easy and it does not get easier the more stuff you throw in your briefcase. It'll really hurt you up here, really hurt you up if in this industry. And that's probably not even a word. <laughs> All right. But if you keep your world small, keep your world small when you're brand new, hopefully your wallet will become fat. And if you start throwing extra things in there, you will realize that your success will be diminished. I made that mistake myself. I threw almost everything in my briefcase. Oh, let's sell a cancer policy and a critical illness and a Medicare supplement and an annuity and an IUL and a fixed annuity and an equity indexed annuity. And dear goodness, what did I not sell? Or should I say, what did I not attempt to sell when I was a brand new insurance agent starting off? It really held me down when I could have been more dynamic um, in my beginnings. And I still sold a good amount, but not as much as I could if I really stayed in my lane and laser focused on one thing. When belief is increased, you will sell more. So yes, keep your world small, keep your wallet fat. It's tough to do, but a wealth of offerings will not make you more wealth. So I hope this helps you. Have an amazing day today. If you need any resources, any good leads, you need any good um, material uh, to take care of these great folks, reach out. We'll help you in any way we can. We'll see you soon. In